Hey everybody, welcome back to Rolling Through Life. My name is Wanda, and I'm going to do an update on the cow. Um, I am sorry, I'm a little over two weeks late. Um, I guess there's no excuse, I'm just two weeks late. So, the first thing I want to show you is the one that I was working on before um, I hurt my hand. Um, is this one right here. It has this like um, different, you know, pinks and blues, whites, yellows for babies. And then I did some uh, breaking up of the uh, ripple with green, like a mint green color. Um, I should be able to get this finished in a couple months as soon as I'm. This is free. Um, so, and then we've had three people submit um, their work. And I'm going to show you those right now. Okay, this one is from Kathy Pearson. And this is um, a scrap blanket. But look at the gorgeous neutral tones with a splash of color inserted here and there. I absolutely love this one. And next we have the red, white, and blue. I like how the outer ripples are a little thinner than the uh, base of the blanket, which is perfect. Thank you, Kathy, for submitting um, your blankets. Okay, here we have Rhonda Leach, and she did use a cake on this. I love the different colors of greens and purples with uh, a splash of white. I think it was a very good choice. It is a beautiful blanket. Thank you, Rhonda. Next, we have Tammy M. Um, I never thought about putting a ripple in a handbag, but the gray or the tans in this is beautiful with the pop of deft blue. I think it works so well together that I would have never thought of this. Okay, we have another one from Tammy. This is absolutely gorgeous. I would have never thought to put just one row of a ripple in between to break up the color. I've always used three to five, but the one, it stands out so well. Um, so with the two sharp contrasts of blue with white, gorgeous. I would have never thought of doing this. Well done, Tammy. Okay, here's another one that Tammy sent me. Um, these were not all done within the three months, but she submitted all of her different ripple um, items. Here's one in blue and yellow. Perfect um, way to use the colors for a baby blanket. But what I liked, I would have never have put shell stitch around a ripple blanket. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It, it finishes it off. Okay, we have another one from Tammy. She's using the multicolored um, yarn with the pop of purple. Awesome. And she made it into a pillow. See, I would have never thought of that. That is just gorgeous. I, I love the way the colors play on each other. Okay, here we have gray and yellow. It's a good combo. It's a very strong combo. But this is in the Granny Ripple. I've never tried the Granny Ripple myself but I love the way the colors play on each other. Um, and of course, again, you have the one row of grays. I don't know, I just never thought of that. Beautiful, Tammy. Okay, our final one is in blue and yellows. Gorgeous again, she has two shades of the blue with the yellow to break it up. Um, I love it, it's a nice blanket. Boy, that one would keep you toasty. That's a pretty big blanket. So, yeah, I love it. Okay, those were beautiful, ladies. Um, the way where you split up the main, um, the main colors was awesome. Um, the colors you put together, it kind it showed me different colors that could go together that I never would have thought. So. Um, they were all gorgeous. That was the January through March cow. 
now from the rest of April through June will be the crystal wave pattern. What I've done is I linked that below. I love that pattern. It's a one row repeat to my to the best of my memory. Um, it could be two, but I think it's only one row. So it should be a very easy pattern to get a grasp of. So I would love to see what you do with those colors. Um, and that'll be through June 30th, and then I'll post everything that you send to me on July 1st. And then I will announce the next one. So thanks for participating in this, and I hope I get a whole lot more participation next time because this was fun watching these pictures come in. So with that said, I'm going to say goodbye, and um, happy crocheting. Bye.